Um, colleagues, I'm sure each of you have heard by now that our very, very good friend of many, many years, Representative Joe Neal, passed away very suddenly last night. I can tell you that knowing Joe 19 years, he was an institution within this institution. As all of you know, he was a true measure of a gentleman. His passion and loyalty were a sincere reflection of Joe's unique character. And trust me, Joe's character was indeed unique. No one, and I mean no one, commanded the podium like Joe Neal. If you came after Joe, you understood the word inadequacy in the dictionary. Joe Neal's words were more powerful than the gavel we use to bring this historic institution to order. His mere presence at this well brought more silence, brought a peaceful calm over this body like no other representative I have ever heard. I've never felt that in 20 years other than when Joe took the well. He earned the respect and attention of every member with his powerful, timely, and wise words. The people of Richland County and South Carolina have lost a great champion, and we in this body have lost an exceptional dear friend. I talked with Ms. Cobb Hunter last night, and she asked me, what will we do without Joe? I don't know. I can't imagine this body without him. Our challenge today is to honor his memory. Our challenge tomorrow will be to move forward without him just as he would have wanted us to do. It will not be an easy task, but with J Joe's example of 25 years, we will certainly have a blueprint to try. Every single one of us will always remember Joe. As I said earlier, he was unique. To the length of time he served in this body, 24 years as a public servant, to his laughter, which I got to hear every day as he sat right under me. Um, and Joe was a preacher, but um, he always had that little Cheshire cat grin when um, something amused him or he got something over on someone, a trait that many of you did not see, but I could observe firsthand on a number of occasions. Um, I had the honor to have Joe Neal on many committees during my time on Ways and Means. I can tell you that I never had a member on a committee that was as well-read, as knowledgeable, as polite, as exacting, and as encouraging as Representative Neal. He was far and away the best committee member I've ever had serve on a committee with me or under me most of the time, Joe should, have been, or Joe should have been chairing those committees, and I should have been under him. The most important thing about Joe Neal we will remember is he was a man who could dominate this institution, Mr. Rutherford, without ever raising his voice. When Joe came to the podium, people would stop, they would look, they would listen, Joe would always make it a point to end debate in the South Carolina House as we were drawing a bill to a close that may be controversial and he had a particular point of view and we were about to vote it. Joe's hand was always the last hand to go up because he wanted to have the final word and it was most of the time the best word. There will never be another Joe Neal. In a moment I will ask that the members and guests please rise for a moment of silence for Representative Joe Neal and his family. No doubt, as all of you understand, this is a unique situation. This is a tragedy. At times like these, there are no set protocol for how we deal with issues like this in the House. We have to listen to our heart. 
Mine says, Joe would appreciate us adjourning silently with dignity in his honor. With that being said, Mr. Speaker, I would ask that we rise for a moment of silent prayer for Mr. Joe Neal and his family. Members rise for a moment of silent prayer for our dear friend, Joe Neal. Ms. Cobb Hunter, for what purpose do you rise? Ms. Cobb Hunter. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I move when we adjourn today. We do so in honor of my dear friend and brother, the Honorable Reverend Representative Joseph H. Neal of Hopkins, South Carolina. Ms. Cobb Hunter moves that uh, the House now adjourn, and when it adjourns, it adjourns in the memory of our dear friend, late colleague, the boisterous voice, Representative Joe Neal. All in favor say aye. The House is now adjourned.